What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Machettes, React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on, on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Everyone knows about the Balkans. Turkey. Croatia. Bulgaria. Serbia. Albania. Serbia and Albania. Montenegro. Bosnia. North Macedonia. And Greece. Oh. But there is another secret Balkan region which you definitely haven't heard of. That's right, the westernmost province of Turkmenistan, aka North Korea but worse, is called the Balkan region. It's completely unrelated to these beta Balkans, and this is the first picture that comes up when you search for it. Now honestly, I couldn't find out too much about this elusive region. TripAdvisor says there are four things to do, even though it's the size of Bangladesh. There are four times- Hold on, four things to do is crazy because last time we did, you know, the any video of the Balkans, the energy was here. So much to do, obviously. <laughs> um, they gonna make something to do. I'm pretty sure we, they gonna find something to do here as well. Let's see. There's as many camels as humans here. However, whilst this region is pretty sparse, they have some good attractions in the neighboring provinces, including a never portal. That's right, in 1971, a natural gas rig collapsed, making this crater, and some Soviet geezer thought it would be jokes to stub out his half smoked Leica just a little too close, causing all the natural gas under this crater to burn as it slowly seeped out and is still burning today, which just shows how much natural gas Turkmenistan has. A spec Wait, so how long has it been burning? Like, if it's still hope. burning today, like... That's and what that's he said, still yeah, burning yeah, today? Yeah, 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 he said still burning today. Y'all heard, I'm gonna go back 20. Oh, that's probably too far. But I want y'all to get like a little information about that because to me, I find that interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's a, the size of it at that. You're gonna have to look this up after this video. Facts. What? Including a never portal. That's right. In 1971, a natural gas rig collapsed, making this crater. And some Soviet geezer thought it would be jokes to stub out his half smoked Leica just a little too close, causing all the natural gas under this crater to burn as it slowly seeped out and is still burning today, which just. 1971 we in 2024 and it's still burning today i don't know i'm i, I really want to go right to the internet with this one right trying to do my own research right now jeez we're on the time schedule and i y'all are going to save the day please comment <laughs> session let us know if is that thing still burning today i, I we need to know shows how much natural gas Turkmenistan has, especially in the Balkan region. This is why they were able to build a gigantic, godly, mega marble city, which marble seems to be designed off an Arab's bathroom. But there's something wrong with all these pictures. The city is empty. There are no Turkmenistanis. This has some suspicious similarities with uh, <clears throat> North Korea. All I can say is thank God Turkmenistan doesn't have nuclear bombs. <laughs> Now, to understand why Turkmenistan isn't stonking rich like these countries, you need to go right back to the start. This land area was first habited in the 11th century. For context, this is when the entire Balkan region here was controlled by Macedonian emperors. However, in these Balkans, the Turkmen were nomadic and their life was generally centered around these fluffy camels and this river. And it stayed like that until these guys came along. Turkmenistan was annexed by Russia even before the Soviet Union because of its untapped gas and oil. However, the point of the USSR was that it could operate as a gigantic isolationist mega nation. That way it would be calm for them to really pick off America or Europe or China or South Korea because sanctions and a lack of trade wouldn't hurt the Soviets. You know, if you wanted wine, you'd get it from Georgia. If you wanted tobacco, you'd get it from Lithuania. And if you wanted cotton, you'd get it from Turkmenistan. That's right, the Soviets thought it would be a great idea to grow cotton here by diverting this lake and this river into the desert. Predictably, this really f***ed over Turkmenistan. When the Soviet Union collapsed, no one bought their cotton anymore. Therefore, there were no jobs and there was also no water.
water. So they started selling, selling, selling all their natural gas at very low prices just to get some money to prop up the economy. And they actually did very well at this because most other natural gas exporters didn't want to trade with Turkmenistan's neighbors for some reason. And it looked like Turkmenistan could raise up the prices, encourage a private sector and be the next to buy. But they didn't. And the fact that they have a whole marble town goes to show they was doing pretty good, but where's the people, like you mentioned? In my head, I'm like, where's the people though? Um, but to have a natural resource that you can sell for cheap because you have so much of it, is I, I find it to be pretty, you know, interesting, you know what I'm saying? Because you can sell it and not have to worry about the repercussions of not having more because mm -hmm. it's so much and you're the only one who's... It's still burning. It's still, it's still burning, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Everyone here still lives under the poverty line. So why? Well, let me introduce you to the man who owned every gas pipe in the country, their first Bashi dictator, to... Turkmen Bashi. Let me just look at the city he built. Ashgabat includes... What? However, he genuinely we... spent so much pipe in the country, their first what? dictator, Turkmen Bashi. I mean, just look at the city he built. Ashgabat includes... 1,000 golden statues. Of himself. $23.3 billion spent in 2011 on construction. A gigantic a model of his book. Of his book. More important than a... Quran. Which is read to the entire city every morning. How long is Through the book? a massive speaker system. Okay. Yo. How many people here? 34, 55? <laughs> as much as many camels, he said. Okay. I, this is all news. However, he With genuinely spent citizens. so much money making Ashgabat look like this that the Balkan region is still one of the poorest parts of Asia. And nowadays, Turkmenbashi is no more, but we got this guy, and he's even better. <laughs> Uh, yes, no. that is him and his grandson. No. So I started seeing some similarities between these two Balkan regions. For example, the barbers are held to very high regard. We all know that Balkan barbers can be found performing their skill of destroying hairlines all across the world. And Turkmenistanis love their barbers so much that when Turkmenbashi died, he didn't pass the crown down to his son, uh, he passed it. I've seen it a lot. You should do it. You like, you know, grooming yourself. <sighs> At least once. Get all the hairs in your nose. I'm noseless. <laughs> you I don't, know, ha I don't have a nose. Yeah, I don't have a hairs <laughs> in my nose either. Whatever they're trying to take off, I don't got it no more. They be clean. How often they got to do that, though? I mean, you waxing, so you know. How long, how often does waxing week? have to... They got to go back the next week. But hair on your face grow back. Not, yes. not when you wax. I feel like wax does its job. Mm -hmm. It goes deeper than the actual razor. So Yeah, it won't grow as much. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. You look scared. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> you see how they was doing that? <laughs> no, sir. Look at that. ...can be found performing their skill of destroying hairlines all across the world. And Turkmenistanis love their barbers so much that when Turkmenbashi died, he didn't pass the crown down to his son, uh, he passed it down to his barber. Some other similarities are they both love statues, they have amazing hat taste, they have problematic neighbours, and most importantly, they have beast flags, mostly. <laughs> Right, yeah, we're gonna stop it right there, man. Um, the Balkans with a whole new twist to it. Definitely didn't see the side of this coming. Over a thousand, I believe, over a thousand statues is crazy. Yeah. I didn't like. I don't. I'm not saying he's crazy, but I'm thinking to like that's wild, bro. Like. I mean. That's some business for you. With himself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we want to see more of the Balkan life, though. Mm. You know, not not the children. We want to see the adults. Yeah. All right. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.